Hello everybody, The Quiet Atheist here yet again with another very interesting video for you guys today. Now, before I get to this article that I do want to share with you guys, I wanted to let you all know that the article in its entirety will be provided in the description down below for everybody to take a look at, just in case you guys are interested. Now, when it comes to this article, I knew pretty much right away that I wanted to share it with you guys the moment I stumbled upon it. And the reason why I say that is because of the fact that this article highlights the fact that Christians really don't have any respect for the Constitution, yet again, they don't have any respect for the laws of the land. We are no strangers to these types of things. You know, their behavior is absolutely offensive, but they don't really care, especially when it comes to this belief in a fairy tale that they really have. Now, I want to read a part of this article to you guys so that you can get a better idea of what is currently going on in the state of Colorado. Now, Denver, Colorado, May 3rd, 2016, the American Humanist Association's Epignani Humanist Legal Center is appealing a district court's decision that local families do not have standing to challenge the Douglas County School District's unconstitutional repeated endorsement of Christianity. The legal center defends the family's standing and requests oral arguments before the U.S. Court of Appeals for the Tenth Circuit. The Apagnani Humanist Legal Center asserts in a brief filed yesterday that the local families have been injured by Douglas County School District's support for Christian programs in violation of the Establishment Clause. As taxpayers and as parents with children in the district who have been pressured to participate in these religious programs, the families have standing to bring a lawsuit against the school district. The brief demonstrates that the school district has supported evangelical Christian programs such as Operation Christmas Child and a proselytizing mission trip to Guatemala through Adventures in Missions. The school district has promoted school-sponsored fundraisers for these programs and allows faculty to lead and participate in religious student clubs such as Fellowship of Christian Athletes. Children have the right to be free from religious coercion in their public schools, said Roy Speckhart. By fundraising for Christian organizations, the school district is sending the discriminatory message that humanists and other non-Christians are unwelcome in their own school and community. The families are directly injured by their school districts, pervasive promotion of Christianity and will continue to be harmed unless the court stops these unconstitutional practices, said Monica Miller, senior counsel for the Apagnani Humanist Legal Center. Numerous courts have found that encountering even one instance of state-sponsored religion provides grounds for standing, and these families have repeatedly been confronted with district's promotion of Christian organizations. Now, when is this type of bullshit actually going to stop? When are these Christians actually going to be held accountable for the actions that they chose to partake in? Unfortunately, in this country, we have seen examples of Christians literally getting away with breaking the law. And in this case, they actually need to be held accountable. There needs to be an example made here. These Christians have to realize that they cannot disrespect the Constitution of the United States. They cannot break the laws of this land. And they need to take this religious nonsense out of the schools completely because they are in clear violation of the law and they need to be held accountable. These other families are obviously being put in an uncomfortable situation when that does not need to happen in the first fucking place. And I actually hope that these Christians pay for what they have done here. It seems to me that they have continued to cause so much damage in this situation. And it also seems to me that they really don't care about any kind of a negative impact that they may have on others. That is selfish. And it really pisses me off to see people like this, but they are like this regardless. Why? Because of this belief in a fairy tale. It is nonsense. They want to shove this stuff down other people's throats. 
they want to single out other individuals who are different from them, and this is completely ridiculous. This school district, again, has to be held accountable for their actions because if they're not, more Christians are going to see this and they're going to get this idea that they can get away with bullshit too. That has to stop. This nonsense has to stop within the state of Colorado. These people have to be accountable for their actions. They have to be held accountable, plain and fucking simple. And that's all I have to say about this. Because if nothing is done about this type of thing, it is only going to get worse in the future. And the more that Christians see that, the more that Christians are going to participate in this immoral, disgusting behavior.